shiver me booty and hit the like button. Make it turn blue. Also hit the subscribe button. It's Gary K here again. Just wanted to link you all for 58 views in 24 hours. That is just incredible. Look at that stonks. Anyway, I'm going to put some comments up. Thank you guys for the positive comments. You guys are amazing. I even got Fantanage, the creator of the map. He has 17.4 thousand subscribers right now. He commented, which that's pretty epic. Just wanted to give you guys a thanks. And on episode 3, I will actually be using a mic. So be stay tuned for episode three. So yeah, talk to you later. 60 views. What's up guys, it's Gary K13 with another video. This is episode two. And at the time of recording, episode one is currently being uploaded to YouTube. So I'm just continuing the grind. I just wanted to give a little shout out to my editor, Cardin Cool. Uh, he's, he's a pretty cool guy and he edited my video for free. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys for commenting on the video, and let's get right into this. So today my goal is to build a mob farm some way, probably in this direction, and so we, we can get mobs and progress faster. So in order to do that, I'm going to be having to make uh, a, a decent sized tree farm, but at this rate we don't have... We don't have this tree growing, which we need that tree to grow. So now, now we're just basically playing the waiting game. But I can uh, hammer some cobblestone down. So let's just hop into a time lapse right away and see how it goes from there. Okay, so now that we have this base layer for the mob farm, uh, we're going to expand it up. But first, I want to make a good tree farm, because in order to make the mob farm, we're going to need a lot of wood. So, yeah, let's head into another epic mo montage um, with music chosen by my amazing editor, Carmen. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I just make that tree girl? Wait a second, what? I broke the dirt block in the tree girl. Let's try that again. What the heck? This is... it, 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 it can't be. There's no way it could be that easy. What? Oh my gosh. Just found an exploit. <laughs> this is amazing. We have infinite wood and cobble and gravel now. Well, now it's time to do a time lapse of this cool glitch. Well, my hammer's broken, but that is a really cool glitch. You know, you know what? My favorite Minecraft YouTuber, he, he used to always use, uh, he used to always use glitches and exploits, and he would love to use them. Just found an exploit. <laughs> and I, I just loved watching him find exploits, but this, this has got to be the most broken exploit ever. It only works for the ore trees, I think, but. Just found an exploit. <laughs> wow, that is really awesome. We can get infinite amounts of wood now and resources. So that's pretty epic. So I think we got quite a bit of gravel now. So I'm going to uh, sieve that. 
we'll do a time lapse of that and then we'll see if I have enough wood uh, I mean enough gravel enough gravel to upgrade a uh, cobblestone tree so we'll see let's do another montage wouldn't it be nice if we had an auto clicker auto clicker every day after all that sieving we were able to get over two stacks of iron nuggets wow that that's just a little bit op so let's craft these into ingots real quick and we have 15 iron ingots holy cow dude. wow so I think what I want to do next here is make another hammer, of course, because hammers are just an amazing tool. Stone hammer, there we go. And now there's a really cool thing. So if you put your cobblestone sapling in, and if you surround it with coal, you get a coal sapling. That's pretty epic. But you haven't seen anything yet. So if we if we put that there. And let's say we grab some bone meal real quick. Hopefully we get one. Please don't embarrass me. Wait, we didn't get one. Uh here, let me, let me, let me just do this. So if we bone meal the sapling real quick, we get a coal tree. And that just gives us coal and wood, of course. But there's something cooler. We need to grab one of these saplings. Okay, if we grab one of these saplings and we surround it with iron, we get an iron sapling. Oh, the irony. But uh, it's a bad joke. Anyway, we're going to replace the cobblestone with the iron one, and we're going to do this exploit. It works! Oh my gosh, dude. We have infinite iron now. We, we just win. We just win the game, basically. Infinite iron. Let's go. Let's hop into another montage of us just farming iron. Okay, I think that should be enough for now. Uh, hopefully we get uh, iron sapling here or we'll have to make a new one. It won't be too big of a deal. There we go. So let's see how much iron we got out of that. Holy cow. 44 iron ingots. If that isn't what you define as broken, I don't know what is. Wow. So let's craft some more. We have 63 iron ingots. Almost a stack. And not to mention all the wood. Holy cow. This will be quite a bit for the mob farm. I don't know if it will be enough. But it's, it's quite a bit. So now what I want to do with this iron. Is I want to first. Actually we're, we're going to save it. Because we'll need it later for machines. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to plant a bunch of regular saplings. So we can get more leaves for dirt. Uh, here we go. Right there, right there. I'll grab some more torches real quick. Okay, so now what we are gonna do is get to work on the mob farm. It should be a pretty cool time lapse. So here we go. Like work with the pace on the track on my face in the back Like I'm taking a 
the slab. I need a drink, but it's straight from the tile. And I'm hating the slack, couple man slung around like the hate in the calf. Please stop talking that trash, cause the vibes in the fun all the way to the back. Okay, so it looks like we need a little bit more wood, and also it looks like the wandering trader spawned, but he has fallen into the void. But we did get some leads, and I'll try to kill these llamas without dying. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna get this llama. I guess I could lead it this way. There we go. I led him to death. Okay, so now we're gonna grab these apples because my hunger is very low. And then we're going to chop some more wood because we ran out somehow after all of that. Okay, I think that's enough wood for now. You guys may be asking, hey Gary, how do we get water exactly? Well, that's a good question. What you're gonna do is you're first gonna go over to your nearest crafting table and you are going to get some iron and make one or two buckets, either one works. And then what you're gonna do is make some planks and you're gonna see this recipe right here called wooden barrel. Basically what it is, my inventory's being weird, is planks just like that. And you're missing those too because that's what the barrel looks like. So you can make a couple of those if you want. And then what you do is you simply remove a couple slabs, place a couple wooden barrels, and put a couple leaves in them, and then you'll eventually get some water, which is pretty amazing, if you ask me. So we got quite a bit of iron and wood now, which is very nice. The wood's going to be pretty much gone when we get back from our building, but it's looking alright so far. Uh, I, I really don't want to work on it during the night time, so I'm going to wait till it's morning, and until then I'm going to be harvesting a bunch of leaves. Is it just me, or does this tree look kind of thick? And look at that, we have two barrels. And then we fill those and we get water buckets. Pretty amazing. So I can do that again and get some more water. It's a pretty cheap way to get water if you ask me. So let's chop down these trees. Okay, let's go back down, collect all these leaves. Holy cow, that is a lot of leaves. We can make quite a bit of dirt out of that. Oh nice, we got an apple too. It's always nice to have a little bit extra food. Chop this down real quick. 
And there we go. We got quite a few leaves there. And just like that, it is daytime. Uh, I'm going to chop this tree down real quick. The axe broke, so I want to make an iron axe because we got plenty of resources now. And then we are going to finish up the mob farm, which will be pretty exciting. Also, there's two apples there. That is that is quite a bit of food for me. Thank you very much. Probably grab these two. Let's get back to work. Meanwhile, I guess it's already working. Hopefully, there's no creepers up here. Oh, there's a creeper. But it's okay, he's, he's down there. He won't bug us very much. Oh, let's grab these. And we'll go right there. I guess I could start with the water. Uh, I'll start here. Just like that, we have infinite water. I'm gonna try to push this creepy down. I just jumped in real life there. Oh my god, dude. Well. <laughs> time to rebuild a little bit. That creeper is hacking, I swear. Wow. Well, it's not too hard to rebuild. Okay, it's fully repaired. Now we are going to go with the water. With that, our mob farm is complete. So I have to go down here, break this ladder, place a block, and it'll be fully functional, which will be very nice. Oh, I placed that wrong. There, like that. And I'll just make it so we should be able to kill them easy, which we can do. So we go like that. Oh gosh, there's a bunch of mobs in here. Holy cow. Holy cow. I, 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 I did not ask for this. <laughs> uh, let's just be very careful. I do not want to get blown up. Oh gosh, there's too many creepers. I'll slap your toes, zombies. Creepers are very warring. It do both of them. What the heck? I clicked once and it does two. There we go. Okay, now I gotta try to kill. Oh, we got a loot bag. That's pretty epic. Are there any creepers in there? No, there aren't. Okay. Let's grab all that real quick. And just like that, we have a fully functional mob farm, which is really nice to have. And we also got two loot bags. And, you know, for the content, I will do it. So we can open these by shifting, I mean right clicking. We got coal, we got a stick, we got a torch, we got a wooden sword. Which we don't really need. But this is an uncommon one, let's see what we get from this one. 
Ooh, we got some gold leggings, some obsidian, which is nice, and iron ink, that's pretty good. And some wool, that's what we want right there. Wow, that's pretty good. So now we have a fully functioning mob farm, that's pretty amazing. Um, I think I want to make it look a little prettier, and we'll see where we go from there. That's pretty nice. I made it so I can't fall off. I'm gonna slap these guys' toes real quick. And eventually we're gonna want hoppers in here to, so we can pick up stuff easier. But I wanna wait till I can get some wool first. There's some arrows over there that I really would like. I don't think I can reach them. There we go. So with that, I think we're going to end off the episode. Uh, I think next episode we're going to be uh, working on a little, li little, little something. Maybe some new kinds of saplings and maybe some machines, which would be pretty cool. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like, you should pant, wood punch that like button. Or maybe, if you're feeling spicy, face plant it. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!